Okay, folks, today, uh, project we have at hand is I'm going to be working on the workbench here. This, uh, the last time I showed you anything, I put the vise on here. And today, I'm going to be building some drawers to go in this slot here. I kind of did a little rough work here a while back. Uh, I didn't have time to record it, but I did do a little bit of framing in there. I'm going to put, uh, a couple of drawers in here where I can store screws, um, or screw containers and things. Um, I'm gonna go in here. I put a couple here and maybe a shelf up here because this is gonna be just a dead spot with this vise. And do a couple on the other side. And I got my vacuum line over there. As you can see, that PVC right over there that's uh, gonna be in the way. So I'll just put a shelf over there in uh, where it's at. And then on this back side, I'm gonna enclose this and make. Uh, some shelves back in here and I'm gonna leave this open underneath here to store plywood uh, sheet goods up underneath here so it'll be a piece of wood in there here with shelf and and uh, I'm gonna store stuff up underneath it that'd give me about three or four foot uh, of storage space there which is fine I don't need a whole lot anyway all right let's uh, let's get started I'll show you here's the little containers I've got several of these here <coughs> Got some of these that come from Harbor Freight, and then I got some I got from um, Home Depot that I have a lot of my drywall screws and stuff in. So I'm gonna get this stuff. I've got one drawer laid out I did last night. As you can see right here, it uh, ain't nothing fancy. Just made a little box and put some. I got some slides off of Amazon for it, and. Uh, we got everything framed out for that, so let me get you set up over here on the tripod and we'll get started. We'll get some sides cut out and, <clears throat> and then we'll get our piece of plywood for the bottom and start installing them. Okay, first thing we're going to do, I've got uh, little strips of some cedar here that I got for work. Uh, some small crates. I ripped one of them down to make the front so it'd be low places where you can get your hands in and pull them out. And then I've got a couple of other pieces here I'm going to cut. They're just they're right at uh, four inches wide. I'll be my sides uh, and my back is going to be, I'm going to have it 18 inches wide and 16 inches deep. And uh, we'll get them all measured up here and we'll cut them on the miter saw and then go back over here to the table and start putting them together. Excuse my mess here. I've got stuff strode over. That's why I'm trying to get this done today while I got a chance and uh, get some of this stuff put up because I got stuff just everywhere. I'm trying to do up some stuff, make some stuff, and just the way it goes. This is not my full time job, so <laughs> just do what I can do. I apologize for the video I did on the uh, mountain device on there at Christmas. My little remote button here for my camera 
quit working. The uh, battery went down in it. I thought I was stopping it. And it actually was still videoing. And then when I thought I was videoing, it was stopping. So uh, I found out later as I was trying to edit it. I just went ahead and did what I could do. It was a terrible video. I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully everything works better today. and we'll get over here to the bench where we can start working on this. Okay, we'll take the clamp here and we'll get this thing lined up. Clamp it together and we'll put some screws in it. Mm -hmm. Good old trusty Harbor Freight squeeze clamp here. I got uh, I got quite a few of these uh, clamps. I got at Harbor Freight. I got squeeze clamps as well as the um, as the uh, make sure I got everything lined up right here. Well, I got some. Uh, I got a couple of pipe. Well, I actually got four pipe clamps from them, and also I've got some uh, some of the bar clamps. Um, well, that's another thing I've got to build. I've got clamps from there where I can't have time to find them, but I have to build me a pipe rack, a clamp rack. I was looking for that one this morning. That little six inch. That's a handy little clamp. And I hunted all over this place for this morning. There it was underneath this plywood. But uh, that's my next thing on the agenda is build some racks for them. All right, we we'll get some holes started in this thing. This hardwood is split if you don't pre-drill it. Got everything ready and get started, and you still don't have everything. Mint cut couple of wide pieces for that back. I guess I didn't do that. Well, I'll, read. I'll put some more here in a minute. Okay, I got our pieces of plywood cut. Uh, I assembled two of these a while ago. I realized I didn't have the camera on, and uh, but that's all right. We've seen one done. You've seen them all. So I'll go ahead and get this one put together here, and uh, I'm gonna start installing. I'm just using some little, I think these wrench and a quarter drywall screws. 
Some I've had left over from when I did drywall here at the house several years ago. And this, a lot of this just, like I say, old scrap wood I had and some pieces don't fit just right. But just for what I'm using it for, it ain't gonna matter. get all this stuff cleaned up and organized, I'll give you a shop tour one day uh, here in the near future. What all I got here with my rest of my dust collection and stuff and we've also, I've got to redo my miter saw uh, dust collection on it. Uh, the big dust collector I have over there works great for my uh, planer and my joiner. But when you're using the miter saw, that fine sawdust gets in there and it clogs up the um, screen and stuff and the impeller in it. So I'm going to redo it. I'm going to put a shop vac underneath that table for the miter saw just like I did this table here. The video you seen here a while back. And uh, I think I'm going to put like a uh, port coming out of it where I can also put a floor sweep over there, sweep sawdust into it uh, to pick it up as well. And I've got another cyclone. Uh, that I bought from Harbor Freight last year that I started out with when I was uh, getting all this stuff assembled. I couldn't use it on this table because it was too tall. So I should be able to use it underneath that uh, bench over there with no problem. Alright, I'm going to move you around and come around to this side. I'm going to put this down on the floor and put the drawer slides in it uh, attached to it. And then we'll go back to the other side and start the installment. Okay, I bought these... Uh, <clears throat> little slides off of Amazon. Let me get up there a little closer where you can see them. It comes one set in a package. <clears throat> um, and I got a box. They had a deal where you got a box of six of them um, for like $49. Made by Pull Smart. Pull Smart, yeah. I guess what you say that. But uh, so, so far, I think I'm going to be pretty well pleased with them. They seem to be working. Pretty good what I've installed on them. I haven't put them in here yet. Just what I put them on the drawer and uh, work them back and forth. They, they got ball bearings and <clears throat> they slide really easy. So I believe they're going to be pretty good. As you can see, they're real smooth, sliding in and out. So <clears throat> what I'm doing here now. Is I'm putting these things down and gauging it by the bottom of this plywood and using that for a, a place to uh, gauge it by and lining it up using that for my half inch mark and that may not be the proper way to do it but I'm not a cabinet maker don't proclaim to be one and like I say this is just something for my shop so it's not nothing I'm really trying to get fancy with
sure somebody out there has got a better way to do it than me. And I guess you could, uh, if you want to learn how to do cabinets, you research that from somebody else and watch them. Because I'm not a cabinet maker or a drawer maker either. I'm just, like I say, this is just for my shop and that's all that matters. See, I left that tag on it. Piece of plywood. sunk in enough on the back side there. Exactly like this. Ain't nothing we can handle. These are going to work out really well. Alright, we'll go around to the other side of there and start installing. Alright, as I said, I got this little jig right here I made to give me the right clearance I need to kind of give me a little space under here for clearance. So I kind of rigged that deal up to set that on where I can line up and put screws in it. And that's what we got here. like my fancy knee pad here I had <laughs> ordered a piece of machinery and this came in it packed in it it makes it makes a great knee pad when you got bad knees
pen and mark this. I'm going to slide it out. I guess I have to take my little jig apart to get it out of there. What do think about that? That's yeah, just a couple of screws. It won't be a deal. Knock one block off and put it back together. That's the great thing about the screws. Yeah, I didn't get that side. I didn't get that side out as far as it does. I don't have to back it back out. All right, let's get that one. I'm steaming. There's wear on in there. I think I may, I may have something out square too. I don't know. When I was building this table, I had a hard time putting it together. I didn't have no help. I was out here doing it by myself and I got it a little bit crooked. Yeah, I think it's just hitting that wood back there. I should have sanded that down a little more on that back corner. Alright, let's see how it works. Side. Okay, folks, I got to, I had off camera here. I had to get in here and do some adjusting on all my bracing right here. It was, I had it measured right, but it was still just a little bit too snug. That's why this one was binding when I tried to roll it back in. When I got this one in, it made it worse. So I got them, uh, took all my screws out of the top and the bottom and let everything just move on its own and get the pressure off of it. And everything's working great. You see how I got this offset a little bit. <clears throat> that way if I side later on put a piece one by four or something on it, it'll come out, it'll cap this and kind of come flush to this. So that's uh, kind of what I was shooting for. Now, I got one of my boxes in that one. And uh, I'm putting one in this one. And that was the ultimate goal right there. I may even have room for a third one right here. I've got an extra set of rails, so I may go ahead and just put a third one in there. And uh, why not? And then I can put, uh, later on, maybe I'll just go ahead and order me some more and put three on the other side. I didn't think I was gonna have that much room here, but I don't know. I'll just have to, let's just get one track right fast. Yeah. 
Yep, I think it's going to work. I don't want you to see what I have set and fight to get this thing in there because you can't see a whole lot because I'm having to get my head over in there. <coughs> it's uh, kind of tedious, but it works out all right. But, uh, thanks for watching and uh, join me on the next one. Give her a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and, and watch for the next one. We'll, next time we'll probably uh, tackle this <coughs> vacuum system on this uh, miter saw. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.